In this problem, we need to graph the function f of x is the negative log to the base 2 of the quantity x minus 1. We must state how it's obtained from its parent graph. We also need to draw and label any asymptotes. So looking at the function, what's the parent graph? It's just going to be y equals log to the base 2 of x. And we need to graph our parent function, and then we're going to transform it into the graph of f of x. So we need to graph some accurate points. So I need a t-chart, and I'm just going to graph three accurate points. And the easiest points to calculate are when x is a power of the base, and our base this time is 2. So the first value of x I'm going to put in is when x equals 1 half. And remember, rules of negative exponents, if I want to write the 2 in the numerator, that becomes 2 to the negative 1. So what's my y value? y is log to the base 2 of 2 to the negative first power. And because these bases are the same, this is the inverse property of logs. And what's the answer? Negative 1. So my first point is 1 half negative 1. The next at x value I want to use is when x is 1. So y equals log to the base 2 of 1. And remember, the log to the base b of 1 is always equal to 0. So that is my next point. The next value I want to put in is 2. So y equals log to the base 2 of 2. And that, again, is one of my basic properties of logs. Log to the base b of b is always equal to 1. So there are three accurate points. If I wanted to graph any more accurate points, I'd pick other x values that are powers of 2. So 4, which is 2 squared, or 8, which is 2 cubed. But remember, the values of x I put in for my parent graph have to be positive. Because what is the domain of log to the base 2 of x? All positive real numbers. So now we have to graph this function. So the first point was 1 half negative 1. So 1 half negative 1 is right about there, if I can get my pen to work. And 1, 0 right here. And 2, 1 here. Now remember the shape of logarithmic graphs. The y-axis, or the vertical line, x equals 0, is a vertical asymptote. And the graph cannot touch it or cross it. And so now I'm going to have to draw my graph, and it doesn't work very well on, with this tablet, but this is about as best as I can do. And since this is the parent graph, I'm just graphing it in with a dotted line. So now we've graphed our parent graph, and now we need to take a look at f of x. So remember, the function we're trying to graph is the opposite of log to the base 2 of x minus 1. So what we have to do is figure out what multiplying by a negative 1 outside does and what subtracting 1 inside does. Well, remember, outside effects are vertical. And multiplying by a negative 1 is a vertical reflection in the x-axis. And then what does x minus 1 do when the minus 1 is inside the function? This is going to be a horizontal effect. And when you add and subtract numbers, it's going to shift. But remember, in the horizontal direction, minus 1 is going to shift it not left, but right 1 unit. And remembering order of operations, we always shift left and right first, and so we're going to do the reflection second. So let's see if we can get this done all in one step. So I'm going to take my first point, 1 half negative 1, 
I'm going to shift it to the right one, so it's going to go to here. And then it has to, whoops, sorry, then it's got to reflect in the x-axis. So since it was one unit below, it's going to go one unit above. So that's where that point is going to land up. So that's my first point. Next point, this point here on the x-axis. So if I shift it right one, it's going to go to here. And then I reflect it in the x-axis. Well, since I'm on the x-axis, it won't move anywhere, so it's going to stay right there. So, so it's going to be right there. And then my last point was 2, 1, right here. So it's going to go 1 to the right. And then when you reflect in the x-axis, it was 1 above. It's going to go 1 below. So it will be right there. So my other point is going to be right there. So the last thing we have to figure out is what happens to my vertical asymptote of x equals 0. So if I take a point here, I move it to the right, and then I reflect it across the x-axis, it's going to be up here. And if I take a point here, move it 1 to the right, and reflect it across the x-axis, Hopefully you can see that all of these points are going to be on the line x equals 1. So my final vertical asymptote is going to be x equals 1. So remember that's the equation x equals 1. And my graph is going to look not very pretty with this pen, but this is about the best I can do. So there is my graph. If you have enough time, it's always good to find a checkpoint. So let's take a point that's on my final graph. I think when x equals 3, y should be negative 1. So let's just evaluate my function at x equals 3. So it is negative log to the base 2 of, remember I'm putting a 3 in here, 3 minus 1. So it's the opposite of log to the base 2, 3 minus 1 is 2. Now remember what's log to the base 2 of 2, that's 1. So this is going to give you negative 1. So that means what's my checkpoint? 3, negative 1. Going back to my graph, when I got x equals 3, was y equal negative 1? Yes.